Hello everyone, my name is Aaron. I'm Microsoft Certified Trainer and also working as a solutions architect with uh, Rexspace, which is uh, one of the best cloud service provider to work with. And this is uh, my YouTube channel. These are my personal views. So uh, we have started the 303 series and uh, we are trying to cover the storage account. Now in this video, we are going to create the storage account and we'll discuss each and every uh, features or options that we have while creating the storage account in next small, small videos. So all you need to do is go here, type the storage account. I was, uh, I already have in my recent services. If you click here, would have the option uh, plus sign here, which says new, click on that. And we know because it's a 303, so a lot of basics is already covered in fundamentals or administration or a 204. So we are not going into absolute basic, so we already know when we create a resource, we create it inside the resource group, which is a logical, logical group or kind of folder. So let's select the existing one because I already have, or if you want, you can create new one. We need to give the storage account a name and that name should be uh, globally unique. So let me call it an in this matters. Why it is important because people who are deploying through through scripts or code, uh, they should remember because for, for us, we'll get the error here for them. It will get error on that uh, deployment uh, screen. Okay. So uh, zero five, hopefully it's unique. Select UK West, that is fine. Now, story account gives you two kind of performance standard and premium as the name suggests. Standard is the standard performance premium is has more uh, IOPS or more performance. Standard is backed by magnetic drives and premium with SSDs. We'll talk about a little more on these in next video. Then we have storage kind. The storage kind is uh, there, there are three kinds of storage in standard, which is storage V2 or G, GP V2, general purpose V2, general purpose V1, blob storage. Blob is a binary large object storage. Now, V2 is the latest one and that is recommended in most of the cases. Uh, you do have the option to upgrade from V1 to V2. And uh, V2 has both the uh, features that V1 has and Blob Storage has. Okay, we'll dig a little deeper in the next video about all these uh, options. Now the replication, we have multiple replications here, LRS, GRS, and RAGRS, which is about backing the copies of your uh, data that you have. If you're choosing LRS, there would be uh, three copies inside the data center. So uh, you would be something happened inside the data center, you would be protected, but if the entire data center gone, then you're not. We'll dig more, as I said later. So here we have to select the replication. This is the lab. So let me choose the less, less expensive or uh, option here. Now, if I select premium, you'll find the options will change. In premium, we, are, we only have the LRS for the replication. And under the, under the account kind, we get two more, we get one more that is file storage. It was not there before, but it is, it is uh, recently added. Recently means a couple of months, I think. Uh, you, can, you can opt for premium Azure files, okay? But this is a lab, so we are choosing standard. Uh, let's click on networking. Here we have the connectivity methods, like public endpoint for all the networks. You can select what all networks uh, and the private endpoints. We'll cover all these options once the storage account is created and one by one we'll see everything. I think I have repeated this uh, so many times. So you know what I mean, right? 
this is just a video or just a very simple lab to create this storage account. We do have the options for network routing. Click on data protection, where we can turn on the point in time restore or soft delete. We do have the option of versioning now. It wasn't there before. Uh, let's click on advanced. Here we have the op option to uh, secure transfer enable or disable or shared key access enable or disable if you uh, disable the allow shared key access then doesn't matter if you have the uh, access key you know the for the story account or, or the sas signature it would not allow you to access if it is disabled similarly we do have this blob access tier which is very important concept we'll cover in a separate video we do have cool, hot, and archive, and we can decide what would be the default uh, storage account. For now, it's hot. You can make it cool as well. And similarly, we do have an option to enable data lake storage Gen 2. So I, that's how we create the data lake storage Gen 2. It's not a separate option. You create the storage account and you enable this option, which will uh, enable the radical namespace. That's the that's the huge difference between the Azure storage account and the data lake. Then we have uh, Azure files. We can again enable and disable tables and queues. We have to select the tags if you want and we click on review and create. It wouldn't take uh, long, just uh, 30 seconds to a minute. The validation has passed. Let's click on create and and deployment is in progress. It's uh, almost there. So as soon as storage account is, uh, this deployment is completed, uh, we'll see our storage account. Let's go to the resource. It's been completed and we'll see, this is our storage account. This is the V2. So we have all these options like containers, file share, tables and queues. We have other options right here. We'll dig uh, in each and every option, as I said earlier in next video. So that's how we create this storage account. And thank you for watching. You have a good day. Bye-bye.